Hi, welcome to my channel. And today you will see how to crochet amazing pattern using different old stitches. For this one, I will use 1.4 millimeters crochet hook and a ball of 100% mercerized cotton yarn. It is very easy and fun to crochet. Let's get started crocheting. Let's crochet the pattern. Make a chain of 30. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. My foundation chain is ready. Then make a chain and the work with the second chain stitch away from the hook make single crochet then single crochet into the each chain stitch of the foundation chain pattern consists of two stitches here what i have at this point Keep working this way till the end of this row. Once I have done a row of single crochet stitches, let's crochet the next row. It's gonna be a row of tall stitches. Chain of 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Turn the work. Yarn over the hook 4 times. I skip the first stitch. Insert the hook into the second stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops, one, two, three, four, and five. Let's crochet my interesting stitches. Insert the hook into two loops, or it's gonna be the first pair of horizontal strands. I count from the top, pull up a loop, one, two, three four then yarn over the hook insert the hook into the next stitch pull up a loop then yarn over pull through three loops two pull through two loops pull through two loops and pull through two loops so my cute small cable is ready or it could be the simple stitch or my cute stitch is ready. Let's repeat one more time. Yarn over the hook four times. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. Then yarn over the hook. Insert the hook into the first pair. Pull up a loop one. Two, three, and four. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Pull through three loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. The second stitch is done. Let's repeat faster. Yarn over the hook four times. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops five times. One, two, three, four, five. And pull up a loop. One, two, three, four. Insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through three loops, pull through three, two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. This is my O1 stitch pattern. Pattern consists of two stitches. And two tops. 
then you should crochet with your own. I have done all my stitches and right now I show you how to complete this row. I remind you this is my own stitch pattern. Yarn over the hook four times, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop while throw two loops five times. Well done. The next row will be a row of single crochet stitches. Make a chain, turn the work. Make single crochet into the stitch of the previous row. Then two single crochet into the my interesting stitches. One, two. And two single crochet in row one, two. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete this row. This is the back side of the pattern. Here how it looks. Once I have done a row of single crochet stitches, don't forget about the chains. Let's count one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's gonna be the sixth chain from the bottom or first chain stitch from the top. Make single crochet. My row is ready. This is the front side of the swatch. The base of my interesting stitches is triple travel crochet stitch. Pattern consists of two stitches. And now I show you how to crochet such kind of stitches using quadruple travel crochet stitch. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven chains to bring up the yarn. Turn the work. Yarn over the hook five times. One, two, three, four, five. Skip the first stitch. Insert the hook into the second stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So you should crochet in the same way as I did in the first row or in the second row where I did tall stitches. Insert the hook into the first pair, pull up a loop one, two, three, four, and five. And well done. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the stitch. It's gonna be the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through three loops. Pull through two loops. Pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops. My tall stitch is ready. The base of this stitch is quadruple travel crochet stitches or any tall stitch. In your case, it could be differently. Yarn over the hook five times. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops, six times one, two, three, four, five, and pull through. Insert the hook into the pair, pull up a loop one, two, Three, four, and five. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Then yarn over, pull through three loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. Let's repeat one more time. Yarn over the hook five times. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops six times. You can use different tall stitches. It's not necessary to be a tall stitch. 
It could be double crochet or treble crochet. Also, you can add some stitches between 12 stitches. Insert the hook into the pair, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, and five. Insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, then yarn over, pull through three loops. Pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, pull through two loops, and pull through two loops. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. It's gonna be with 3D volume and simple at the same time. Then I will show you how to complete this row with me. Once I have done all tall stitches, yarn over the hook five times, insert the hook into the stitch, pull up a loop or throw to a loop six times. So my row is ready. I remind you, in the last time I used quadruple treble crochet stitches. And in this case, I use triple treble crochet stitch. Continue. Make a chain. Turn the work and make single crochet in this row. One, two, and so on. I did in the same way as I showed you in the lower row. Then I will show you how to complete this row. This is the back side of the swatch. It was a row of single crochet. Insert the hook into the chain stitch. This is the first chain stitch from the top. Make single crochet. My row is ready. I tore my work. Let's stop at this point and look what I have done. I remind you my pattern consists of two stitches and has two rows. And right now I show you one more kind of stitches. For this, make chain of eight to bring up the yarn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well done. Yarn over the hook six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insert the hook into the second chain stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. My tall stitch is ready. So I am making in the same way as I did in the lower row. Insert the hook into the first pair, pull up a loop one, two, three. Four, five, and six. Then yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through three loops, pull through two loops one, two, three, four, five, and six. My tall stitch is ready. Let's repeat one more time. Yarn over the hook six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insert the hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through two loops. Seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yarn 
Yarn over the hook into the first pair, pull up all one, two, three, four, five, and six. Well done. Yarn over the hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Pull through three loops, pull through two 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 loops. My tall stitch is ready. My beauty is ready. It looks like a cable, or it could be 3D stitch. So in this pattern I use three kind of stitches. Keep working in this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete this row. Let's complete this row with me. This is the row six. Yarn over the hook six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Insert the hook into the last stitch. Pull up a loop, pull through two loops, seven times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The tall stitch is ready and my row is done. Make a chain and next one will be a row of single crochet. Turn the work. This is the back side. And make single crochet into the each stitch of the previous row. Keep working this way till the end of this row. Then I will show you how to complete it. Pattern consists of two stitches and has two rows. Let's complete this row with me. Don't forget about the last chain stitch. Make single crochet into the eighth chain stitch or the first one from the top. I have already cut off my yarn to secure the yarn by making a chain. And my swatch is ready. This is the back side. Very interesting and simple in the same time. My stitch is based on different tall stitches you can use double treble triple treble and and etc this is my own stitch pattern you can use it in any project such as scarf bracelet belt or it could be perfect to create huge project let's look at another swatch in this case, I used double treble crochet stitch. All additional information could be found in the description of each video tutorial. Please look at the description. You can use any kind of yarn and any crochet hook. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me in social media and of course crochet with me and learn more. How to crochet different old stitches you will see in the description of this video tutorial or in the comment below please don't be afraid to experiment it is very fun and simple thank you so much for watching see you next time and don't forget to write comment below this video what you will get with me bye